I'm Richard Clark. I record these talks every day as a way to deepen my inquiry. Listen each day and deepen your own practice. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book, Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is from talk 392. Questioner, is this heart the same as the physiological heart? Maharshi, no, Sri Ramana Gita defines it as the origin of the I thought. Questioner, but I read that it's on the right side of the chest. Maharshi, it is all meant to help the bhavana imagery. There are books dealing with the six centers, Shad Sakra, and many other lakshas, centers, internal and external. The description of the heart is one among so many lakshas, but it is not necessary. It is only the source of the I thought. That is the ultimate truth. In this dialogue, the questioner seeks to understand the concept of spiritual heart from Sri Ramana Maharshi. The questioner asks, is this heart the same as the physiological heart? The questioner is asking if the spiritual heart that the Maharshi often speaks of is the same as the physical heart in our bodies. Ramana clarifies that it is not. In his teaching, the heart refers to the source of the I thought, which is the fundamental sense of individual self or ego. According to the Sri Ramana Gita, this heart is a metaphysical concept rather than a physical one. The questioner mentions having read that the heart is located on the right side of the chest. Maharshi explains that this is a form of imagery or visualization used to aid spiritual practice. Spiritual texts often describe various centers like the six chakras or other focal points, both within and outside the body for meditation and concentration purposes. The description of the heart being on the right side of the chest is one such method to help practitioners focus. It is an aid for meditation, but is not fundamentally necessary. Spiritual practice, I think, has two steps. The first is to quiet the mind. Meditation, yoga, chanting, and many other practices will quiet your mind if practiced diligently. The second part is knowing your identity, just who and what you truly are not mental understanding, but experiential knowledge, the kind of knowledge that comes from being, like how you know you exist. The Maharshi says with certainty that these visualizations are not essential. What matters, what is crucial, is understanding that the heart is the source of the I thought. This understanding is the ultimate truth. This is not any physical location. It's not something you can feel with your senses, not even a subtle feeling. 
finding the heart in meditation, according to Ramana Maharshi, is not about locating a physical place, but about turning inward and tracing the I thought to its source through self inquiry. This is self knowledge. This leads to the realization of the true self, which Ramana says is the heart. The heart is not physical, but it's the essence of who you truly are beyond the body, the ego and individual identity. The heart is the being consciousness bliss that shines through your body, mind and ego as the self. The self shines by its own light. So know yourself and be always free and at peace. The book, Who Am I with Comments, is my take on these early teachings of Ramana Maharshi. It's available on Amazon, free to Kindle subscribers. A link is in the video notes. These videos bring Ramana's teachings into your direct experience. Click subscribe to see more. Click thumbs up to like and send questions and start a dialogue with the comments 